electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Guess I was wrong. You can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad while she's hugging the border. I'm gonna pay you what we agreed. Not one anymore. Huh. For that, you can borrow my tools and fix it yourself. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? Mm. Huh. I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. Did anyone ask your opinion? Okay, let's see what happens. It's like I was telling you. No. Not shabby at all. Questions how long it'll last you. It'll get me to Night City. I'll figure something else out there. Right. Mm. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a, a few hours past. I, I thought she'd at least called in to you. Don't you swear to Mike. We're gonna hash it out. <laughs> don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. My mistake? I hadn't planned on stopping. A failed coupling forced my hand. Yeah. Always some failure high mistakes. Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver showguns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do ya? That a nomad vehicle? Might have expected that. If you have a problem, I'm willing to hear it. Let me tell you what my problem is. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Where'd your clan pitch camp? Are you one of those who believe everything the talking heads say? That nomads are the world's greatest evil? No. I'm a man that respects order. Corpse brought us that order, and I intend for it to stay that the way. The corpse pay you and have you on a leash like a dog, you know that? Mm-hmm. But you don't want to see me bear my fangs. So I'll ask again. Where's your clan? There's no clan. There's no camp. I'm here alone. I ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. I heard this place was famous for its hospitality. Ah, oh, glad to see it wasn't just rumors. You are damn right we are. When people come along who know how to behave. I saw a broadcasting comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down and I need to radio someone. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? Hey! I'm talking to you. You like the sound of your voice, don't you? What's that, Drifter? What are you on about? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. Best that way.
Hello? Come in. Come in. Ah, raised you finally. Willie McCoy. It's good to hear your voice. Fee. Wish I could say the same. Why can't you? You abandoned the clan. I can't help you anymore. Never knew you to be so cautious. Try and loyal. Rules are rules. The system won't work without him. It can't. Nomads get the work in these parts because it's nomad turf. Wouldn't be a problem if you're still a backer. You should have stuck with them, and joined up with the Snake Nation like the rest. Snake Nation can kiss my ass. I need your help. One last time. One last time. Again? I have to find the client with my payload, but I, I don't know where he is. Hmm. Right place, right time. You were there? My car gave out. The electric coupling, it's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. He's waiting on a farm. Flicking you the geolope data. Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, sure hope you're here for me. Are you Wells? And Jackie, por favor. I'm V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? You're a man of principle. You need a backbone, chica. At least you'll have that left when they've taken everything else. Why don't we start with you then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a <laughs> distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess you could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. The cargo. Let's load it in the car. Oh, we will. Started thinking you might not come. I got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? The sheriff here looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. Ugh. What a 
Fighters! So, we headed out? Do you have the manifest from the transport? Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds? He... he did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? Hey. You, uh, sure you've moved contraband before? Why? Are you nervous? Me? Scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. I'll do the talking. Please direct your vehicle to the inspection area. Remain in your vehicle. The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. You know they'll notice if you're nervous, right? You have got to calm down. Right, right, yeah. Hand me the manifest. They'll need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. Ah, it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. Means the cargo was flagged as to be lost as soon as it crossed the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. Well, they're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingana madre. What now? Relax. It's all in line with procedures. It's all part of the plan. Hey, guess you know what you're doing, huh? If we want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docks, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> forgot about that. Right. You forgot. I'll keep the engine running in case of a cock up. Do that. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Now, please report to room number two. Please sit. Papers. I know the rules. Everything's there. It might be. It might not be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which Nomad Clan? I don't think that's any concern of yours. Is that what you believe? You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Don't forget to take your personal items. Be careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City as some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, naive. Which is just a euphemism for ignorant. What happened in there? I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay.
You're gonna tell me what happened back there. Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Happened a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie. Just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it! You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car! Damn! Up here. Place looks deserted. Gonna stop here. Need to sort out a few things before we go on. Oh, I almost tagged our asses. That what you call smuggling? Chingado! Supposed to go smooth. No problems. If you think this is my fault, at least have the balls to say so. I don't know yet. Is it? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us. And he was right. <sighs> So what now? I gotta ask you the same question. Will you keep whining, or will we put a bow on this thing? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. I can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Oh, and you just figured I would sit by patiently? Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. It's just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but... You're all right. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, thanks. So what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Open it. I don't know if your client's gonna be happy getting an open package. Usually means trouble. Fuck the client. You gotta start working for yourself sometime. No commission, no middlemen. Then I need to know what I'm selling if I'm gonna try to find a new buyer. Oh shit. Says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Oh mames, a real iguana. A uh, lesser Antillian, I think. Lesser until what? Yeah, I watched the thing on TV about them. Went extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend.
Think you can make some money on it? Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gonk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pit. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you, uh, got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? I don't have any plans. I spent the last years traveling between states with my nomad family. I'll probably be waiting for you somewhere, eh? No. We decided to go our separate ways. That must be tough, huh? I have no one to go back to. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks, much appreciated. Hey, come on. It's nothing. They got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it. Partner. Hey. Aw, cuddly little fucker. You know what, Jackie? You're not all bad yourself. Oh, <laughs> you don't mean that, Chica. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to, uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Yeah. Let's do this. Elevator. This way.
Target's Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug. Could at least try to be... nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. It's not too late. Oh, I hate this life or death Try shit. Try hacking the door. Hurry. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. Huh? 
Hey, motherfucker! You're a bitch! Watch out! No mark! Come out! I'll be nice to you! Sure. Man, I hate this Carol, you horse shit. Sure. Fucking bombs. Ну давай, 
Заходи, сыкло! Got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Oh, Jack does in. not look good. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. It's got much as hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neuroport. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomod. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon Clave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, V. Do your thing. Oh, fuck! She's flatlining! V, need Jack to know what's going on. Fuck, this is bad! Catch, Chica! I think... Oh shit, it worked! Fuera, chica! Get her outside! Fuera, get her out! Terrace! on 
on the ground. Five steps back. Now. TT-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulus being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 for Brennigen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Chica, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's they gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. <sighs> Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Yeah, relatively well. Trauma team took her off our hands. She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Word's out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Chica. I'm driving. Can't stop digging Night City. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, no, Chica. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. <laughs> I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. They're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Is it just me, or... Oh, I fucking knew it. Fan on our ass. 
tailing us. Chingado. I don't like this. I don't want that bit. Scum! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, V! Shoot! Hit! Keep her steady! Hold tight, V! Mierda! Perdón! Got you, assholes! V! Aim for the driver! Chingado! Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Stops. What does the lockdown do for the Nerdist? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your... girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. You should give me a chance. Waiting. Mm, that's a Look shame. At him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. So you can be nice when you feel like it. When am I not nice? Um, always. I'm always never not nice. Tech rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gonk's out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Chill, V. Don't let me through. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Sweet dreams, then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego.
from home. Provides 300. Good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight is the president of the church. Bug? Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Praise be to the our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip Man program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. I love tuning in, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. I'm gonna have a word with the super. Oh, yeah. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's biomon. I know a neurovirus or... I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs.
Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? No, not today. Thanks anyway. Whatever. I'll be here. Let's have a look. Thanks a lot. Finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you as the type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Synth sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that it's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. No pressure, but the whole deal's riding on you now, chica. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. 
Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias a Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Dock. Anchica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. We'll see you now. Vicky's spry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, 
That is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Kuroshi, whoa! Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play-by-play, -play, though? <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist, always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky gannic hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. 
It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Watch out for negative energy fields. And avoid mean reds. Anything red. <sighs> Thanks, Misty. You're the best. And your aura. It needs tending, baby. You've got to brush it daily. It's just no good if you don't. Make sure your hands are clean and caress the filaments of light along their length. They'll be strong then. They'll be firm. Uh-huh. Firm. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay. Do my best to talk us up. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. For them, it is all mere spectacle! There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on, got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned. 
but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. The problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shit stream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's a prima donna? Corpo agent. Internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, Cortito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah? Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. 
before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. Think I oughta see her first. Seeing what she's like, what she's after. What I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold a demon for you. It should work on any third-gen deck. Got a Militech Paraline. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear for a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Got anything Novo for sale? If you can afford it.
Hey there, dollface. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green, do you? Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. Hey! Get you something. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Scents on. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. Mm. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like me do for a Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew at my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Huh. Curious. Let's... Cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Mm, yeah, no. How to my price range? Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for, as you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? 
Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? V? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No, they can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious what? interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Sure, okay? Hope I grabbed enough detail yeah, to make yeah, that yeah. possible. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Hold up. You need to see you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps. Acoustic and emotive wave monitors. Uh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that'd support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. 
Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Got to create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue viral. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Won't take long. Be diving in and... Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody! On the ground! I want to see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. 
She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in. What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only slip into this footage? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Remember our agreement? Help me this one last time. I promise everything will work out, just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? <sighs> Unimportant, Bug. Please, focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. Alright, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. All right, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Here in a drone. Ventilation and cooling? Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must know that. Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Manual details a special tip controlled container. 
Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are Nobu's keeping the chip. Matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. I got it all under control. You fuck up and they come knocking on my door. Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V, one sec. Well, don't worry. Won't do anything to get you in trouble. But, uh, I hope to see you again. Depends. On what? Whether you come alone or with a tag along, like a net runner. No runners, I promise. See ya. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? Intel on your Nobu, the chip, the BD from Kanpeki. When's a right? Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. So? What now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. Mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. 
You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance at that ship without that bot. To work then, Miss V. Come on in. Telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nah, -uh. not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal. Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there.
lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down! I just wanna talk. Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. <clears throat> Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen, folks. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Never met anybody named Gilchrist. That the poor fucker right there? It's true, doesn't know him. That said, I've jumped a few convoys in my day. Know all the usual suspects. But I can help find your mole. But what I know now won't get you anywhere in that respect. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Ugh. Her, you can let go. Wanna hear what she has to say. You know, I could help patch the gaps in your convoy security. Prevent a repeat of this fiasco. Nope, not interested. Let's hear your offer. I don't have all day. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cunt's already good! Take you down with her! There you are. Let me hear what you squared away. Is that an arch? Oh, damn, what a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Dorset job dividend. Huh. Don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. I'd swap out that tailpipe if I were you. Really? Why? It's got a mean growl that the chicas just love. What that growl does is tell people a mile out that Jackie's rumbling their way. I tinker with the fuel injection, too. Upload a new map and slap on some thermal tape till you cobble together enough eddies to get that exhaust modded. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? 
Is up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... So, Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skin yet? You got a plan? Doubt shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. <sighs> Don't know you. Just open the fucking door. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. We could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Hey, what's in there? Militech truck. But those cabrones only swiped a couple crates. Not a whole fucking semi. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel's better. My favorite. Subtle. Model MT-0 D-1-2, called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch, planet. I'll stand. 
This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Come on. Got lighten up. Take a hit. What is it? It's Geef. Shit kicks you in the ass. It's a fucking rush, man. Gotta feel it for yourself. Come on, give it a whirl. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings... Mm-hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Eh. Uh, Raven's not the dedicated control unit for a flathead. Ha! Of course not! Militech controllers auto-link to Militech systems. I mean, you wouldn't want them tracking their stolen tech back to your hands. Yeah. Ravens are baby. Got improved neural sync and no fucking pesky tracing. You ask me, we gotta sell that shit. Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid off. Brick got it. Huh. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. Alright. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Man, he ain't dead. So I'm gonna consider my offer now. You're short, Sark. Creds on this. <sighs> hey, Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick for you, whatever the trick is. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! Chip's got a vector! They're breaking in! Zero! I want heads! Grab the gear. Barton could have both died. Quick! Gotta find a way out of here. Got the set. Bot and controller. And let's go. Quicker than that. Let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air.
It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved meat. But really no other way.
having eyes on this turf. Careful.
time's over!
Come on, V. Let's get out of here. Milladek. They got those things buzzing around everywhere. Past the gate. We can talk there. Got the Milladek, bitch. Bet you didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. You screwed me on this. Almost got me killed. That wasn't a financial tracer. I fucked you over. You fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? Ultimately, the corp gets what it wants. Remember that. Learn it. Maybe a couple years down the line, you'll be standing where I am. Oh, thought about what you said. About convoys, transport security. Your offer? We're just... not interested. Secure the area! Time we were on our way, Mamita. Holy shit, V. I was sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure... You know. We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know. Do some shots. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the Corpo woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. One thing Stout forgot to mention. Chip was carrying a virus. Oldest corpo trick in the book. I assume Royce was less than understanding. Virus attacked their systems, scorched a handful of Maelstromers. I took care of the rest. You got some balls, Miss B. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do, grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V.
All right, let's see what you got. What I like to hear. <laughs> 